Hello and welcome from labtraining.com. I am Saurabh Arora here and in this video we are going to be seeing how we can make a excel sheet to calculate the concentration of samples uh, from a calibration data set. So I am actually going to show you the end product before we start. So this is the kind of excel sheet which we will be making. So it will give you a calibration curve with the equation, the R square value and it will be protected. So you see when I click I am not able to select any of the data but I can enter my values here for my calibration standard concentrations, the response that I have got and accordingly the data gets updated in real time. From this it calculates the slope and intercept required for calculating the concentrations of the samples and we are going to have place for six samples. You can put your sample ID, the response and you will get your calculated concentration from here. Also in the bottom we have a dilution factor calculator which you can use to further calculate the concentration of your undiluted sample. So let's get started now. So first we are going to open a new sheet and in this new sheet the way we have our logo you can add your company logo or any other information you want so this you can see is an unprotected sheet I can work on any of the cells so first what we are going to do is we are going to say uh, create the data fields that we require so first of all is the standard ID so you can put the identification number for your standard then the concentration then your response for the standard here you can actually use any technique you can enter data from a UV spectrometer or any HPLC or atomic absorption so that's why we are saying response in case of UV you will have the absorbance or in HPLC you will have the area or height of the peak so anything can be used so usually we have six standards which is the recommended minimum for most uh, regulations and uh, we'll just put some dummy concentrations so again the units you will have to decide based on whatever method you are using it is good to put some dummy data as you know it will make you make it easy for you to see that the calculations are correct and we are going to have a simple linear relationship so I am just going to make it 10 times the response alright so now we can insert a graph for this data set so we just select the data you just click and you drag and you go to insert and you, you select a scatter plot I like using one without a line because we'll add a regression so as simple as that you get your calibration curve here we'll quickly remove the fields that we don't need rename the graph to calibration curve and uh, I want to label the axis also so I go to layout and I say okay I need chart titles and the axis titles also below primary vertical axis rotated so now I can put response here so you should add the actually if it's the absorbance you can put absorbance and you can put the units areas same way concentration and you should put your units in brackets there so now we have our calibration curve ready now to add a trend line we right click on the data series go to add trend line and mostly we will use a linear but depending on the kind of data you can use different kind of you know regression models so we want to show the equation <coughs> and also the R square value on the chart so we just select that and there you go we have the regression equation as well as the R square value now you can either you know uh, use the values from the equation here and type them but to make it the automatic 
automatic Excel sheet, we can put the formulas for slope and intercept. So basically the formula we are following is that y equals to mx plus c. So this is the equation for a straight line. So I will just quickly I should put an equal just just for you know if you can understand y equal to mx plus c. So we need to calculate the intercept c and the m which is the slope to be able to calculate the value for y using known axis. So let's put the formula for slope. We first label it slope and here we go and we click equal to and you start typing SLOPE. You see it gives you that uh, slope returns the slope of the linear regression. So now we click uh, add a bracket so it says known y's and known x's. So we have our response on the y axis. Here you can see it's on the y axis. We add a comma and we put our known axis and enter. We get our slope. So you see the slope value in the equation and here is same. Just to get the intercept also, I change this value so now you have an intercept. So now I'll put the intercept formula. Intercept again select the known y's and known x's, close the brackets, and so you see the values here and here are exactly the same. Now using these values we can calculate the result for any uh, you know, response that we get within this range of 50 to 300 in this case or anything in your sample. So we'll quickly make an area for calculation here. So we put sample ID and we put uh, response and we put concentration here. So let's see, we want to have six samples in this. And we'll arbitrarily put some areas for the response, say 55, 60, 100, 220, 200, 250. All right. So now we need to put the formula. So now actually we are calculating x not y. So if we just move change this equation, I'll just add a line here to show it. Insert. So x actually is equals to y minus c. Put that in 